I want to share with you a quote by a Roman Catholic priest. This quote has the official imprimatur of the Catholic Church, which states that it is official Roman Catholic teaching. This quote is heartbreaking, but yet I must share it with you because this is what Roman Catholic priests believe they have the power to do every time they perform the sacrifice of the Mass. When the priest announces the words of consecration, he reaches up into the heavens and brings Christ down from his throne and places him upon our altar to be offered up again as the victim for the sins of man. It is a power greater than that of saints and angels. The priest speaks, and lo, Christ, the eternal and omnipotent God, bows his head in humble obedience to the priest's command. This is what Roman Catholic priests believe they have the power to do, to call the omnipotent God, the Lord Jesus Christ, back down from heaven to continue on an altar what he finished on the cross. This is Roman Catholicism. They believe that the priest has had the power to transubstantiate the inner substance of this wafer into the body and blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. He lifts it up for all the Catholics to worship this, and then he lays it on the altar to continue the work of redemption. This is said to happen over 20,000 times a day throughout the world. Priest having the power to call Jesus Christ down from heaven. By the authority of scripture, we can say this is a false Christ. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 23, he warned us, if anyone says to you, behold, here is the Christ, do not believe him. And yet that is what every priest says as Catholics come forward to receive the Eucharist, to worship Jesus as a lifeless piece of bread may be the most serious sin of idolatry. It is no different from the Israelites. When Moses went up the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments, they gathered all of their gold together to form a golden calf so they can worship the true God that delivered them out of Egypt. What was the fate of 3,000 men who worshiped the golden calf as the true God? God had them put to death. 3,000 of them died instantly. Roman Catholics are worshiping the Eucharist as a false Christ. And I can say that by the authority of God's Word. And that is why, by the way, when Roman Catholics have had a true conversion experience, where they have repented and believed the true gospel of Jesus Christ, they cannot remain in a church that commits the serious sin of idolatry. They must come out and not participate in their sins any longer.